Hi, this is Joel at Earth Tools, and we're going to use a BCS 853 walk-behind tractor with one of our Aldo Biagioli bed shapers on here, also called a double ridger. This one's outfitted with the disc killers, which is something we do here at Earth Tools. We've got the drag chain equipped behind it to kind of form up the bed. <clears throat> We've got the tractor equipped with these standard 20-inch tall tires and the 16-inch axle extensions. Actually, what we've got is a pair of uh, five inch axle extensions plus a set of 12 inch extensions, which is gonna give us our full width. Uh, we, we have a 16 inch set of extensions, but we already have the fives on here, so we just added the extra. Anyway, uh, we don't have this tractor outfitted with wheel weights, uh, so it might take a couple, three passes to form up the bed adequately. So we'll give it a go here. This bed has been prepared by a rotary plow take a sweep across the bed. You can see there are furrows on the side of the bed. Those aren't really going to affect us. The bed is wide enough on the top that we're just going to be working on the flat surface of the bed. The function of the bed shaper is to take work soil on flat ground and form it up into a, into a shallow raised bed about four, three to four inches high and about 30 inches wide. So that's what we're going to end up with here. So we're basically just simulating flat ground here. Side of the track. So there's our little mini raised bed. We just plowed this and it had a bunch of standing weeds on it so there's more vegetable matter in here than you would typically have in an application like this, but it still worked very well. A little bottle top there. And of course, if we were gonna make a successive series of raised beds and this was flat ground all over here, uh, we would put the disc, you know, for our next pass, we'd put the disc right here to pull this ground over. You'd end up with about a one foot pathway there. So, uh, there's also another adjustment that can be made on the frame here. You may have noticed as we went across the, the ground, this thing swung back and forth somewhat when it would hit a clump on one side or it would get clogged up with some of our extra organic material here. There are adjustments here. These bolts can be backed out here to limit the side swing of this thing. We just left it in the factory position, which allowed quite a bit of swing. But if you adjust those out, it basically can't swing as far. You typically want it to be able to swing a little bit so that you can correct the direction of the tractor. If there's a slight bit of oscillation there and the tractor gets off a little bit, you can pivot it just slightly to be able to steer it back straight. So you don't want it to completely eliminate the side swing, but a little less would probably be a good idea. But it still ended up with a pretty darn straight bed. You can walk over here and actually slight down it. And that's it. Thanks for watching.